So Neji, ours is a good family. From my side, at least, we are of a good caste. All our women have either been housewives or in service. Cooking, cleaning, handi bartan, bagera bagera. No bar background. Not like some bar dancers, Leela knows whose grandmothers, grandmothers spent their life in Lakhna's Mujra Salon's Chi Chi Chi. And so Leela to the sign, I said. Yes, said Leela, turning to Absara wide eyed. How did that happen? What can I say? Absara reddened, looking down at her hands. They were thick with gold trains, presents from Leela. Leela was headstrong. She would make her own friends and she had big, big hati mira sati ears. She heard stories by Bombay of its dance bars, of how much money you could earn. Imagine it, money from Najka. Leela loved dancing. Did you know that? She won every bar da dance competition ever held in school. She was known as Choti Madhuri, after Madhuri Dikshi. Ajay, remember Ek Do Teen? Ek Do Teen? Abzara sang throatily. Chal Paan Che Saat Aapa. Mami? Leela screamed theatrically, sticking her fingers into her ear. Cho! Fine, I went sick. Where was I? Huh. So one day without telling anything, this girl here ran away. Just like that, said Leela, sounding intrigued. Just like that, I ran away. Absara ignored her. I ran away because I like to dance, is it? I remember that morning very well, even though it was how many years ago, huh? Four, five, Leela? Absara picked up her knitting. She was gaily working on a pair of pink booties. Her father had left the house without making a show for the neighbors. What relief, what a change. You know, in those days, I was serving him, he was serving his morning cup of tea, trembling. Trembling. Anything could go wrong. The sugar was too little, or it was too much. The milk should have come from a cow, not a goat. Why is the plate white, not blue? Oh, I can't tell you what a rakshas he was much worse than now. But that day, he was quiet as a mouse. I looked up. David, had he answered my prayers? But of course, no luck. And only the day after that, he was as he'd always been, shoving me back to front, front to back, like I was one of the cows Baba Ji had given him in dowry. In any case, that morning he behaved properly, and so I went to Leela's room to tell her the good news. Who knows, I was going to say, maybe our luck has changed. And I wanted to see her smile. Poor girl, the evening before Manohar had done something too dirty. He had insisted on hand feeding Leela, and Leela never liked that sort of bitchness. She's a very headstrong thing. She spat out the food. Manohar gave her one time chop and shoved the food back into her mouth. What did Leela do? She vomited right into her plate. And then? Oh, well, you know what happened next. For the love of God, why are you making me repeat this story? This is not Ramanan Sagar's Ramayan. No need for repeat broadcast. Absara nod through a grumpy pause. Anyway, she continued. This girl here vomited, and my mister shoved her face into her vomit and wouldn't let go until she ate everything, until she ate every bit of her own vomit. What was it now, let's think? Bread on it? Huh, Leela? Now I can't remember. But just to imagine it. Imagine it in that. How I suffered watching her. I couldn't move, I couldn't speak. I said to myself, God, wouldn't it be best to fling your humble servant under a truck? That would be kind, you know? But Leela's room was empty. Where was Leela? First, I thought maybe she'd gone out to play. After all, remember, baby, she was only a child then, in small, small chubbies, not even a woman. My mother is very simple, said Leela grimly. Play, she glared at Absalom. Play. After Manohar started sending me to those mother chores, who would play with me? Who would talk to me? Dirty girl, dirty girl, dirty girl, that's all I heard and made it, mummy, and you know it as well as I do. Play it seems. Someone has played a trick on you. Someone has snatched your brains. Absara's bottom lip trembled. What did I know? I'm an illiterate village woman. Did I even see your father's face before I married him? I told you 100 times not to call him my father. He's a rakshas. When his parents came to my parents' home, Absara turned to me. The first thing they asked for, even before they asked for tea, was to see my father's tractor, to check if it was good enough for their field. They even went into the kitchen to inspect our utensils, the cooking oil. My grandmother was cutting vegetables. They showed her no respect. They looked above her, at the spices. They looked behind her, at our stove. They looked top to bottom, at the big, big pots in which we had stored our rice and dal and atta, but they didn't look at her. Later, my mother-in-law, God bless her soul, she took me aside, 
to counsel me, I thought. What did she say? After marriage, if we don't be discover you under Kuwari Lerki, a virgin Janki Kasam, she said to me, I will cut your breasts off with the same knife I used to cut the stems of the potato flowers, and I will feed them piece by meat piece to the crows. Leela exhaled with frustration. Good story, Mummy. Don't talk, snapped at me. If I drop one stitch, I'll have to start all over again. Ajah, you know Sheila? She turned to me. I shook my head. Ah, me? Oh, that one will lose there. She pointed abstractly. Short little thing, wears two big, big gold earrings, face like a small boy's No, Wait, face like a rat. She's a rat face. Have you met her? Have you met rat face? Absaragito, no mission. She had now managed to move on to an entirely new topic. This too, I would learn, was a standard Apsara dodge. You don't know her, she said, sounding frustrated. Ajim si lurki at you. Ajim, she has her daughter. What did she do have three daughters? She just had a baby. Another girl, imagine it. I said, okay, okay, don't take tension. I'll make clothes for her. That way, at least they won't have to buy any. Everything is so expensive these days, and babies don't stay small as long enough. Now look at Leela, how big she is. When she was small, do you think one banana would have satisfied her? Or one chiku? No. Everything had to be two, two, three, three. Banana two, two, chiku two, two, even egg fry two, two. But I have a she was my God's grace. Absara sniffed and wiped her face on her sleeve. Leela rolled her eyes. Don't look so worried, she said to me with a short laugh. Mummy Simba, I told you. Next time for sure she'll ask if you know her mother, who died of TB before I was born. You just say, hmm, of course, I'm so much. Your kind child is must. I may be simple, Leela, snorted up Sarah, but I'm not yet deaf. Leela licked the knitting out of her mother's hand and threw it petulantly on the floor. Enough of this, mummy, she said, in the baby voice she used to such great effect with her customers. Why are you always thinking what I'm doing? Let the child and Nanga Munga, you give me head massage.